Yo guys, what's up? I'm more free picks for you guys for the games on Monday. I have two plays. We'll talk about them in a second. But first, let's talk about the fact that we just went back to back videos caching. So on Sunday and Saturday, I told you guys the weekends are normally really, really good here on this channel and just in the MLB in general. So back to back days we cashed. This was the play right here in the last YouTube video. Um, and then the play right here in the last video. So Saturday's video, it did cash right here on Sleeper and Chalkboard. It tied on prize picks and underdog. So hopefully you guys listen to me. Put that play in on Sleeper and Chalkboard, which I talked about in that video. I talk about it every time, and I'll talk about it more in this video. But guys, make sure to drop a like on this video. I'd really, really appreciate it, especially if you cashed last video. Please just go ahead, take a second, drop a like. Also, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of the free pick videos that I drop you every single day. So make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into the video. First, before we do, remember, guys, if you want more of my picks every day, if you guys cashed in these pick or pick videos right here and you want more picks, all you have to do to get my VIP, I text you guys exactly what plays to put in every day. I text you exactly how much money to put down on it every single day. We swept twice this week already. We're looking for a third sweep in the last week week so we swept on tuesday and wednesday went up 15 units in two days if you want more picks they are completely free all you have to do go to the links below download either the sleeper app or the chalkboard app with code ghost all caps right there just pick one app does not have to be both download one of the apps it asks you if you have a promo code put in code ghost and then deposit at least 10 bucks drop a comment on this video after saying i signed up with your code so i could send you guys that link to the free month of vip but remember guys these apps give you a hundred dollar deposit match when you use code ghost. So I highly, highly, highly recommend to get on both apps, drop a hundred bucks on both apps, bam, five minutes, you make 200 bucks. The easiest money you will make sports betting is deposit match money. Free 200 bucks, a free month of VIP, and these apps are really good. These are comments of everyone saying the apps are good. I literally had a comment on last video talking about how, dude, thank you so much for putting me on a sleeper. I'm so sick of prize picks, and I am myself too. I don't bet on prize picks. I hate prize picks. I hate underdog. Literally hate them so much. I've always liked sleeper and chalkboard more. So you guys are getting on a better app. Free month of VIP if you want that. 200 bucks for free as well. And then again, we literally hit this video or hit this free pick video on Sleeper and Chalkboard. It tied on price picks. So the lines are way better in Sleeper and Chalkboard. You make more money on those apps. So that is the best advice I could give you guys in sports betting is to bet on Sleeper or Chalkboard. I cannot say it enough. I'll talk about it more at the end of this video, but let's hop into the picks for now. So the first pick I have for you guys, by the way, we only have a 10 game slate today. So a little bit less games. So I wouldn't go too crazy on the plays. If you usually put down a ton of money um, today, I would maybe hold it back a little bit. Not saying these plays are horrible. Obviously they are the best plays of the day, but I would just be a little bit careful since it's only a 10 game slate. I just wanted to make sure you guys were all aware of that. But the first player we are going with is Bobby Witt Jr. This is pretty self-explanatory. Look at what he's been doing lately. So obviously on the graph right here, it doesn't look like he's been playing playing, you know, too crazy, have been playing too good, but I will show you guys what his graph looks like over on outlier in a second, but we are taking his over on two and a half hits runs RBIs right here on prize picks. So going over to what that looks like on outlier, it's easier for me to show you guys on this. I can show you guys his last 10, 20 games. If you guys want outlier again, it's another sports betting tool to find good plays. You guys can go to the link in the uh, description. I put the link there every single time. If you guys use that link, you get a free week of outlier to test it out, but it's like 20 bucks a month. It's just an extra tool for you guys. It's pretty good. So I'll put the link in the description for you guys if you want that. But this is what his last 10 games looks like. So I'll show you guys this real quick. This is just his straight up last 10 games right here, right? So this is what that's going to look like. His last 10 games, he's only gone under this line of two and a half hits and RBIs. Three of his last uh, 10 games he's gone under. One of them he had two, so really, really close right there. That's just his last 10 normal games. In this game, he's playing a right-handed pitcher at home. So if we look at his last 10 games against right-handed pitchers at home, he's cashed, again, 7 for 10. Really, really good. Two of those games he had two, so super close. Even when he's missing, he's barely missing this line. So this is a really, really good line for him. Pretty low line for him. The pitcher he is playing in this game, not only is he a right-handed pitcher, and this is a home game um, for Bobby Wood Jr., but the pitcher he is playing is Carson Fulmer. So he is a relief pitcher, hasn't started too many games this year. The last two games he started against Toronto and the Yankees, he gave up five hits and five runs, and then seven hits and two runs. This is probably his toughest matchup he's had as a starting pitcher. Maybe the Yankees, but I honestly think Casey's been playing better. Bobby Wood Jr., by the way, guys, if you don't know, 
He is the best hitter in baseball right now. It's not even close. In the last like 40 games, he's had like five games or something like that where he hasn't had a single hit or anything. So he's literally the best hitter in baseball. This pitcher is projected to give up about six hits in this game and then about three runs in this game. KC is projected to um, kill LA as well. They should get about five. Hopefully they can get like six runs in this game. And if they do, Bobby Wood Jr. should absolutely go over this line. Knock on wood. I don't want to jinx it. But when KC does get a lot of runs, Bobby Wood Jr. always has at least one of those runs. He gets a ton of runs. So I'm definitely going over on Bobby Wood Jr. here, especially a day where we only have a 10-game slate. Going with someone as consistent as Bobby Wood Jr. against someone who's not a very good pitcher. I really like this matchup here. And then the last thing I want to tell you guys about this is LA on the season, if you don't know, is also the fourth highest team in the league when it comes to giving up runs in the season. So they've given up the fourth most runs this season. So like I just said, Bobby Wood Jr. gets a ton of runs. KC always gets a ton of runs. They give up as a team a ton of runs and so does this pitcher. So I really like that Bobby Wood Jr. play right there. That's what we're going to hit over at two and a half right there um, on prize picks. And then again, at the end of the video, I will show you guys what that looks like on chalkboard and sleeper but for prize picks that's what we're doing right there and then the second play i have for you guys is going to be royce lewis we are taking him under one and a half hit turns rbis so you guys can see here why this looks so good to us he's gone under five games straight he has won almost every single game but he just has not been able to get that second one in his last five games again i'll show you guys what this play looks like over on outlier so he's actually gone under this this is with uh right-handed pitchers during away games, which this game is. So I can just show you guys his last 10 games straight what this would look like. He's gone under, like I just said, his last five games. He's gone under all five games in his last 10 games. He's gone under this seven out of his last 10 games. But when you look at him in away games against right-handed pitchers, which this situation is, he has gone under nine out of his last 10 games. So in this specific situation, away game, right-handed pitcher, he's gone under nine out of his last 10 games. That is really really good another reason why i like to show you guys on outlier that's just you know way easier for me to explain that to you guys but that is really really good also this pitcher is not just any random right-handed pitcher and it's just a good matchup for royce lewis so not only has royce lewis been i don't want to say it i can't say it i'm going to get demonetized but he's been crapping the bed you know so to say lack of better terms he's not been playing very good obviously and this is not a random right-handed pitcher. This is Michael King, who has been playing out of his mind. So the last, you know, five games or so, he's averaging giving up four runs, or sorry, four hits and one run a game, really, I mean, is what he's averaging. He's been playing really, really well in this game. He's only projected to give up one run and like four hits. So he's projected to have a great Great game. If he gives up four hits and one run, Royce Lewis is going to have a very difficult time going over this line of one and a half. Like I said already, obviously he's been going under this line a ton. This is arguably his toughest pitcher matchup he's had in these last 10 games. So I really, really like this line of Royce Lewis under right here. You guys can also take hitter fantasy score for either one of these guys if you want. But personally, I'm just taking hits on RBIs. I think it's a little bit easier. So that's what I'm going to go with. And then on chalkboard and sleeper, I actually believe this is the first time this has ever happened. This is uh, what the play looks like on chalkboard and sleeper. It's the exact same play as prize picks um, or underdog. So there's no difference right here. Just two and a half over, one and a half under right here. But these are what the plays are going to be for the games on Monday, guys. Remember, please go ahead and drop a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. I don't forget a video ever. I post every single day. I work my tail off to get these videos out to you guys. So please make sure to drop a like. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Drop comments down below if you guys cash in the last couple of videos. Let me know. I love hearing when you guys cash on the free pick videos. And again, last but not least, make sure you guys sign up on Sleeper or Chalkboard with code GHOST. All the links are down below for you guys. Again, it is a better app. I'm not just saying that. I've always said that before I even started YouTube. Everybody knows Sleeper and Chalkboard is a better app. You get a free 200 bucks. You get a free month of VIP. There's literally no reason not to do it unless it's illegal in your state. But if it's legal, make sure to get both apps. Get that free month of VIP. Just remember to drop that comment if you do want that VIP. But other than that, guys, those are the plays for the games on on Monday. Good luck with all your bets and I'll catch you in the next video.